I'll go see you in a little bit. All right, I gotta go inside the building right now. There they go, that, oof, that one attack. This one's gonna turn around. The big male will turn around in a second. See him go. He's literally biting the other one for the food right now. Turn around, buddy, there's food behind you. All right, as you can see right here in the light, we got a little bit of pellet, a little bit of cichlid pellet in there too and I'll do wait to throw that in there for all the other fish. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic and Ranch. Today is Wednesday, as you guys know, and everybody knows now that every single Wednesday we go inside of the Monster Fish Aquarium or the gallery, whatever you guys want to say it as. But before we do go inside of that today, you guys, we do have a sponsor for you all. So let's jump in today's sponsor, and then I'll see you guys inside of the fish gallery. What is going on, Ranch Friends? Today we got this amazing package from Timu. As many of you guys know, Timu is a free app that you guys can get all different types of products for amazing prices. What's different right now is Timu is having its first anniversary sale, and that only happens this year. These are some of the amazing items that Timu sent us. You guys can go choose out of a thousand different items for just one dollar and you guys can choose from the top list and the best sales list from all the different types of items and just this month you guys team is doing the anniversary sale so you guys can get all these different types of items for a great discount so we're going to go over some of the items that Timu sent me and i checked them out already and this is absolutely insane so inside of this box right here we have a full-on survival kit this kit is absolutely perfect for when, you know, I go to the jungle, go into the Everglades, we have everything here to literally survive if I have to stay that one night. We have a perfect 46 piece toolkit. Everything you need for your tools, change a tire, do whatever the heck you gotta do, right here in this one toolkit. And then another really cool survival kit thing that came with this is we have literally one, two, three, we got 10, 12 slots right here of probably some of the smallest hooks I've ever seen in my whole entire life. These hooks are perfect for small fish, small little piranha, small little brim, wherever you're from, perfect for small fish and have a nice little snack if you're stuck in the wild. Next, that's really freaking awesome, is right here we have a electric drill stand, a legit, completely chainsaw right here in this little box, perfect to cut down a small little tree to maybe make yourself a little shelter or get some firewood if there's none laying around the floor. Then off from the survival stuff, they know I like turtles. So they can give us a freaking awesome sea turtle thing to hang up like, you know, on your back patio. You can put it like right there. Look how cool that thing looks. Really, really awesome. Oh, look, we can put it right here. Look at that. Perfect. Staying right there. That's awesome. Sea turtle thing. Super, super hot here in South Florida right now. We got ourselves a fashion neck fan. Super, super hot. We can open this bad boy up. Oh yeah. That thing right there keeps you nice and cool and ready to go while you're working on the ranch. Pretty freaking awesome. All in just one little package that we opened up right here. Pretty freaking crazy how all this stuff came out of this one package and it came really, really fast. Really awesome. And guys, it ends at the end of September. So make sure you guys go get all of these amazing gifts before the month is up. So only this month, you guys, right now, go get yourself a discounted price on all the different Timu things. They have available thousands of different items and it's right here on the screen. You use my code and you're ready to go and go get all your amazing gifts, just like this fan right here and all the awesome different types of products that we just showed you guys. Before we jump into the building, oh my goodness, that was a lightning strike. Look at these guys right here. The archer fish are growing freaking crazy and looking absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of thunder and lightning right now, but that's okay. The male capybara is doing great. And the female, is somewhere and she's doing really well as well missy what are you doing girl let's come over here the capybaras have destroyed all of the grass in this section as well it is very very dried up already and the otters look absolutely amazing look at cali cali girl what are you doing cali what are you doing cali girl where's your boyfriend inside yep i'll go see you in a little bit all right i gotta go inside the building right now so it's always awesome to be inside of the fish gallery when it is raining outside because we can enjoy the fish, we can be inside of here and see what the fish are doing. And on top of that, we can stay dry instead of being out there. But there is always stuff to do out on the ranch. You guys are probably wondering what the heck happened to the tank. I'm not too sure exactly what happened to the tank either. It completely bloomed up and it is very, very, very cloudy right now. Um, I need to do definitely a water change for this tank. So for the next video, it looks absolutely clear. All the fish are acting perfectly fine and everybody is doing amazing. You can see the golden Dorado right there. Looks great. The tinfoil barbs look great. The giant 
Platinum Red Tail is doing good. That noise is doing good. Everyone's doing good. I think my situation is, is that I am feeding a little too much now. I'm feeding every single day pellet, and every other day I'm putting cut fish inside of there. So maybe I have to slow it down a little bit, but the fish are not showing any signs of slowing down and they just want to keep on eating. So what I'm probably going to do is really, really, really start doing a lot more water changes a lot more often so this thing is crystal, crystal clear, just like the Stingray tank. The Stingray tank looks like an absolute spring right now and looks beautiful. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Look at the freaking ripsaw. Ripsaw looks good. Everybody looks great. I'm going to flip the camera over if you guys get a better look. So you can see it's definitely cloudy. I need to fix the top over here. Hold on. I'll show you guys this real quick. It's going to get it loud because of the rain. The waterfall over here, I need to add new live carbon inside of there. I'm gonna add a couple more plants. And then on top of that, we gotta add brand new pillow cloth and that should be good. See all the fish on the top. Everyone's checking everything out. They're all coming up, hanging out. But you can see the Pythos plants I have in there. I have one, half of it died. That threw salt on top of it on accident. I'm gonna fill the whole entire backside with Pythos plants. Pythos, Pythos, whatever it's called. And that should help clear out the water a lot more too. We're definitely going to add that, and that's going to help with the bio load of all of the fish food I've been throwing in here. All right, but before I do all of that stuff, we're not going to show it in the video. Maybe we'll do that for our next video. I do need a feed today. Uh, they are really, really hungry. That is why they're acting like that. I fed them pellet yesterday, but not fish. So after today, I am going to start dropping the water down a little bit. So I will, because I need to go inside of here, I got to start cleaning the windows. You can see there's a little bit of brown algae starting to grow inside of here. And it's crazy how it still grows, even though it's inside of a building. And the African cichlids had babies too, so that's pretty freaking cool. There's a ton of little babies inside of there. But I'm gonna flip the camera over, I'm gonna get to the top, I'm gonna throw some fish fruit in and you guys get enjoy the fish eating over here and then we'll show you guys the rest of the fish eating on the other side. that much fish food inside of it. It's just enough for them to like eat a little bit and keep going. I feel like in the wild, these guys are just trying to find as much food as they can all the time. And they're not getting big meals every single day. They're finding, you know, a small little fish, eat it quick, and the school disappears. It's a river, it's a pond, and there's not that much food all the time. So I like to feed them every single day to keep them active and keep them moving. They're not just sitting there sluggish all the time with a big belly. I rather them always active and moving, like I just said. I'm gonna grab some pellet and a little bit of algae wafers as well and throw them down there because I just saw McFly come up too. He's down on the bottom right now looking for food. Our fly river turtles. Let me grab some pellet and throw that in there too. All right, as you can see right here in the light, we got a little bit of pellet, a little bit of cichlid pellet in there too, and algae wafers. Throw that in there for all the other fish. All the fish eat the pellet, but not all of them do at the same time. So we just throw that in there so it's a mixed diet. I like making sure everybody does eat pellet because it does have all the extra proteins and calciums and everything in there for all these fish. Here comes McFly, you can see him on this side come up real quick. Probably gonna come up for air. I don't know, he's right there searching around for some food. Let me throw some of these pellets in there for you guys too. And the pellets really good for the tinfoil barbs, the albino, African cichlids, uh, the catfish in the bottom, the rib the giraffe nose catfish, all of those fish love all of that. Oh, and we still have our rainbow shiners in here too. No, you guys probably don't see it. This water looks like absolute doo-doo right now. And everybody in the comments are gonna say it looks like crap. I know that, that's why I said that multiple times. It does look like crap and I'm gonna work on it today so we can get it all back to normal for our next Wednesday video. Hopefully it goes back to normal and I can keep my word on that. But enough talking, we're gonna turn around and grab this right here. We have a bunch of cut up fresh food right here. It's silver sides and shrimp. And we're gonna feed it to our gars and our stingrays inside of it. Here goes the stingrays. They're figuring it all out. They're smelling, they're smelling, they're smelling. They're all doing great. They're doing absolutely amazing. We do one to two week water changes. We bring down the water about yay far. If you guys wanted to see a water change video, let me know. I can show you the whole process of what I do here and how I do it. It's very simple, very easy, and it does keep the water clear. Unfortunately, not in that tank right now. The tank, I feel like, is still actually finding its way. It's finding its life. There's still different things that are happening in there because of all the, the concrete that's still curing. Are you guys they stare at me and they don't realize the food's behind them. There they go. That, oof, that one attack. This one's going to turn around. The big male will turn around in a second. See him go. He's literally biting the other one for the food right now. Turn around, buddy. There's food behind you. He's such a bully. That one's such a bully. 
Oh, and the Platinum Guard up top is starting to grow his fins back too. So that's a good plus thing. He hasn't got eaten again or bitten again. So he doesn't have any issues, which is a good thing. I was really worried about him. I was worried he wasn't gonna survive, but he is doing good. We'll come over here into the dark and soon hopefully we'll start getting some lights in here in the next probably couple months. We'll get this handful of silver size of shrimp and throw it to our Arapaima and our Pyribia catfish. If anybody knows if there's any Arapaima available in the United States around 12 inches, let me know. I need to get a buddy for this guy. And um, the catfish, we're only keeping one. All right, here we go. Throw that in there. Should turn around in a second. Catfish is going. He just ate up. And the air pine was just ate up. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I have a question for you guys as well. Do you guys think I should switch the air pine up and the catfish and put it in here and put the guards inside of there? Or should I just leave the guards in there because they're happy and they're good there right now? I don't know, put it down the comments. I was really, really close. The other time I was doing water changes to take these guys out and put them in there to get a bigger space. But I'm still worried about the stingrays. So people that keep stingrays and all that stuff, let me know. I think I'd rather get these guys a little bit bigger before I throw them over here. I think maybe one more month of growing. And I think that would be sufficient to have them back over here. We throw the rest of this food inside for these stingrays because the stingrays like to eat a lot. And they don't really eat too much pellet compared to the catfish over there in the Arapaima. They eat a lot of pellet. that the guard just attacks different types of stuff now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, they don't want it. All right, they're gonna get it this time. But yeah, today was super sides and shrimp, and the stingers are doing great. I'm really, really happy on how the stingers are doing. They're starting to gain weight as well. I know a couple of people were saying that they looked like they were skinny, but I really do think now that they are starting to blow up with their fatness. This one just is, I don't know what he's doing. He's such a bully, I guess. He's like on top of the other stingray trying to take the fish from the other stingray. Look at them, they're just like fighting right now. Hopefully nobody stabs each other because they are completely fully barbed. And I've seen videos of other fish hobbyists seeing their uh, stingray stab another stingray. So I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Look at the giraffe nose, you guys. The giraffe nose is going up. I already forgot his name. We put it, we said it in the last video. Damn, I forgot his name, you guys. Put it in those comments, what was his name again? I completely forgot his name. I gotta look at what we named him again. I gotta like write these things down. I forget people's names sometimes too. I, get, I remember faces, even with people. I remember everybody's faces, but I don't remember names of my uh, friends of friends and all that, but that's pretty funny. Look at the giraffe nose. He's just chilling, he's going up. He sucks up all of the pellets on the sides of the wall. You guys can see it up in the corner. He goes around and gets it all up. But he looks great. Look how big his fins are. Everything looks perfect and beautiful. All their skin looks amazing. There's no situations with any of these fish, even though the water looks like absolute dog poop, like I already mentioned a million times. The fish look great and they look absolutely happy and amazing. And if you guys think about it naturally, the water is going to be this dirty, nasty color. They don't, they don't see each other most of the time. If they don't see each other, they can't attack each other and that's how they're able to grow so big. When the water is clear, they see each other and they fight and they bully each other and you know it just becomes an issue. But visibility in the jungle is like that. It was probably, not. Probably even worse. It was probably even worse. And there's fish living all inside of the majority of these fish live in the rivers of murky, dirty, black water, naturally. I know for video and for the fish hobby and all that, you guys don't like it. But naturally, if you've been to the places where these guys are from, this is what it looks like. Cloudy, murky water. The river's always turning up. The sand's always moving. And it makes everything all crazy colors. That noise is so funny. All right, let's check these stingrays. See if they finish all the food. They did. All the food is literally all gone already. Everybody ate. There's one little piece of shrimp there, a silver side there. They eat it all up. That's what I like to see. They eat it all up very, very fast. Nothing stays sitting for too long because if it does, that means there's too much food and you don't want that to happen. We're gonna have to throw a little bit more uh, feeder fish in here for this gar as well. Let me throw a little bit of this pellet inside of here. As you see, I put a black background that helps a little bit, but it looks like crap, so I don't think it looks good at all. All right. Throw some pellet up there. Let's see if that guard hits. I don't think that guard eats any pellet yet. This one over here does. This one's growing really, really big. Look how cool he looks. Hanging out. And the arapaima and the catfish are doing good. All right, here we go. Throw a little bit of pellet. Let's see if he goes up for some food. They're just chilling. They're both about the same size now and they look good. And if McFly can't get the pellet from the top, 
for the bottom, he goes to the top and he's already learning to eat the pellet, the floating pellet, which is really cool. He would never do that before in the 300 gallon tank, but he completely did a full on 360 inside of this tank, going to the top, eating pellet, eating everywhere, being an awesome, really happy turtle. You can see him down there right there, trying to get some of the wafers. He's gonna get a wafer right there. Boof, got a wafer. So awesome, doing absolutely amazing. So before we end this video and all that cool stuff, people that are still here on this video and watching it, I wanted to say one thing. This morning, me and Justin and my sister, we woke up at five in the morning to go catch some cows. You guys gonna see that video very, very soon. My mom was here taking down the ranch. How was everything. it? Everything. How was it? I did do everything. You did everything? I did everything. <laughs> like, what, what's, what's everything? I had to feed everything. So the goats, the chickens. The, the otters, aviary. the deer, the aviary. Uh-huh, except for the other ones in the front. I don't I don't mess with those. The pigeons. Oh, the crown pigeons. She doesn't yeah, mess with the crown like pigeons. Those. And Willie over here is absolutely loving his new home. We got to get the roof done completed. Yeah. But he's living life in there. We filled it up high and dry so that he stays dry and dry in there. African crown crane is trying to dry his wings right now, or her wings. It's uh, the female because it's been nonstop raining every single day. It's been nasty, it's sticky, disgusting. and what? Disgusting. Yeah, it's just, it's just not fun when it's muddy out. Everything just smells and it's just, uh. But we got a lot of cleaning to do once this rain drops. And then it's time to have fun and all that cool stuff. But other than that, you guys, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I'm going to be at a couple animal events coming soon. I know one of them is Iguana Fest. So, if Ty, if you're seeing this, I'll be there. Uh, I'm going to go to the Scales Expo as well. Ryan's thing in West Palm Beach. And... That's it. That's it, because you're not leaving anymore. Boss said that's it. And that is it, you guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Peace out, everybody.